Hello, I'm Melanie Florence. This is Hot Tea for the Soul. So, today I'm doing a solstice, a full moon in Pisces reading. We've got a lot going on. I'm doing, this is a muses read. In the other ones I've got a witch's brew and I've got a, a fairy tale tea. So if they're more you think, they're in the description in the links. But I'm going to be doing, this is a full reading. After this, today, I'm going to be doing my readings a little bit different to this. So this is going to be a nice full long reading about what we got going on. All right, and I'm lighting out the Palo Santo as we speak. Let's light the candles. So, if you're into gods and muses, this would be the one for you. There could be a bit of storytelling. I don't know them all, but we're going to kick it off uh, with a few cards from a few different decks. Let's get some energy feels for what we got going on. What have we got going on for this full moon? It is upon us as we end the end the balance. Light and dark, your yin, your yang, your female, your feminine, your masculine. Finding the balance, dealing with your shadows, dealing with, you know, all of the light, like working, working on yourself. Finding that balance. It's a very uh, temperance sort of card, which is a healing card. And here they've got it as a four. Right, so, which is also a, a sort of healing spot inside of the tarot. Fours. Fours and sevens. Sometimes they don't look like they're healing spots, but they're always healing spots in the tarot. What else have we got? The eternal dance. The will of life. The path of least resistance. Look at that. We're all involved in this will of life. And sometimes you've got to get in. Sometimes we just go with the path of least resistance, right? Go with the voice within. All right. So the eternal dance and the wheel of love. Reflection, self-examination, and distortion. Ooh, so reflection is that spot, that moment that we take, like to look back at our life, maybe without the, the distortion, and you know, maybe without, and because sometimes when we reflect, we, we, it, we make it different. We've got a different moon on there as well, look at that. Um, sometimes when we reflect, like this card, uh, we're reflecting on the different pieces that have gone on inside of ourselves and we can distort those. We can see them differently when, as we get older, as we change a little. And you know what? If we can see it differently when we're outside of the circumstance looking in. And so we're in the moon. Right? So there might be a little bit of illusion in this, some self-examination that needs to be done with your shadow self, right? All right, goddess and goddesses. All right, what have we got from here? Oh, straight out. Multi-dimensional healing. All right, spread your wings, lovers. Spread your wings. It's time to look a little bit further than just healing your essential and just getting through the day-to-day -day. Right, and really looking at what is that transformation for you on a multi-dimensional level. All right, so to bring this in, we are going to get a goddess and a god. Oh, goddess jumps out. Baby Yaga, Baba Yaga. All right, it's about being real. All right, she is who she is. She does what she says she's going to do. She's straightforward. She's a shoot, straight, shoot, straight shooter. There's no illusions just here with this with Baba Yaga. All right. So this is about authenticity, taking the time. She comes to us to tell us to be authentic in our life. So we're going to put you over here, Baba Yaga. All right. That's interesting. What have we got from the gods? Who have we got to come in today for the gods? Whoa. Oh. Canunus, shape shifting. All right, so the, they say the green man could be Canunus, but like, and this is Connors and Canunus, but this is, you know, shape shifting over time. This is shape shifting over dimension, and maybe if you've been shape shifting, and so this is authenticity. But being able to bring that and, and bring that and put that in every element, being able to shape shift as a person through all of those elements, go through that, go through that change, right? All right, so this is a nice deep one for the um, denizens of the forest. With Kununos turning up there, he's a nice, strong, like, they, they say the eternal. He's one of the eternal spirits, the eternal, eternal, and he appears everywhere. These horns, and you'll see him everywhere in the ancestors. Or around. So, what else have we got? So, what I'm going to do is, um, we're going to do a bit of a, a bit of a journey. Let's see what comes out. Let's see how many cards come out. So, there's one, two, three, four, one, two, four already. So, we've got number one. Ooh. So a nine of materials. Okay, and the high priestess. And the ace of materials. And the ten of materials. This is good, okay. 
All right, so there's an evolution going on there. You can hear that already in the cards, in the development inside of that. What else have we got for this muse? This one. How many more for this? Line two. That's it. All right, so we've got, oh, the seven of pentacles and the wheel. All right, so this is where we've come from. All right, new muses, this is where we've come to. And this is in this full moon, like in this full moon energy and this turn of the seasons in the solstice, right? We've got like this nine of materials. And this is about your independence. This is about you as a being, knowing what you actually bring into the world and your traditions. And you've been successful. And you think what you put in has been showered back on you. The work that you put back in, it's being showered back on you in this nine. All right, so she's really putting herself out there. She's really acknowledging herself as an authentic being, right? And, and this is really taking her independence and, and your independence as the muse, right? But we've also got the, the high priestess, right? And so the high priestess is, is really, she is a, um, she's she, like, if you're going that the, 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 uh, the empress is sensual, this is, it's just, she's full back, like there's no mojo. She's not, she's not mucking around, right? Usually you might be even in some sort of celibacy, right? Inside of this, because this is a, a pathway. This is a knowing, this is a calling maybe inside of here, but the high priestess and there's individuality. You've stepped inside of it. Everything that you've done, you've stepped inside for this. And it's created a new material path. It's created a new pathway for you, a new pathway to go. Ace is always material, material pathway we're talking about just there. All right, 10, 10, 10. All right, so we're talking about how we function in the community, what we have our legacy, what is left after, what, what comes after, right, what's the legacy from that? All right, so what, what do we come this eight and how do we invest that? And that's what we're talking about here, the seven materials. It's talking about how you're going to invest it, the seeds that you've planted, the seeds that you've grown, what have you put your actual time and energy into? All right, because they're the outcomes. And it's reinvesting your time and energy here because it's saying that you're already successful as an individual being. You've gone through this transformation. You've gone through this alignment. You've gone through this process, which has come out with a new path that is verging you on a new like transition into looking at how you affect the, the wider circle of things around you. And you might be going, I can buy a house, right? This might be an investment in a house, like, right? Because you've taken the spiritual time. You're, you're a full-fledged individual inside of this and the rain, like the actual energy is coming back back through with this 10 so we went this 9 this 10 all right so we sort of got an 11 sitting there which is perfect right and then we doubled up with the 7 inside of here all right and the wheel is turning wheel of fortune there's lady luck on side of this we roll the dice lady luck and the wheel of fortune how we roll through that sometimes we're up sometimes we're down where are we with lady luck in the wheel of fortune all right what else have we got all right, what else have we got for you on the table? All right, this is inspired, inspired uh, night of inspiration. Oh, see, this is also dedication. This is like willpower and your strength and determination. All right, we're making some choices here. Oh, I've got them fallen off the table. That's what I got. So that one is, oh, magic magician. In the middle in here, and three more fulfillment with the three of inspiration, the ten of emotion. Look at all those dances, muses dancing. And I'm going to go with this one, the page. I mean, the two of inspiration, two of inspiration. All right, so what have we got going on this row? The Knight of Inspiration says, inspired, this is like playful energy. This is very playful energy and it's seeking and it is not settling down. This is that horse that's out there and it's looking for firecrackers. It's looking for the fireworks. Where are all the pretty things? Where are all the inspiring things out there? That's what this knight's looking for. And it's really about finding your willpower to overcome obstacles, like to enjoy the life. This is using your uh, spirit through your senses in the five. Oh, all right, and then we have the ma magician. Look at that, look at that energy, bringing it in, bringing it in, transforming it down, bringing heaven to earth, all right, bringing your eight, this infinity symbol, heaven to earth. All right, so the magician bringing that, like, centering and focusing all this energy down to bring fulfillment, all the dices. Sometimes, right, you need to, you need to wait for it all to fall. 
you need to wait for it to fall in place. But something goes in fulfillment. Things are all being, everything's coming in its own time. And this, this dancing here, this is actually happiness. This is like being happy with it. And making good decisions on the fly here, on your intuition. You'll be feeling your intuition. You'll feel that you are in the zone. All right, muse lovers, thank you for still being here. Right, where are we at? All right, so I'm going to bring us uh, some confirmation cards for this side and this side. Let's see what we got. All right, muses, what have we got? Love is in the house. What have we got? Let me bring that all up just a little bit. Maybe not. Bring it back down a little bit. Realign your cards. Yeah, all right. Come on, Mel. Bring it together, Mel. All right. So let's bring some side cards for this side. Oh, all right. Post haste. Uh, it's a sort of Cupid's energy as well. Post haste. Coming in. Really running at it. All right, you're really running at it. You're really charging at the things in your life that you want and really putting yourself out there authentically. You as a person, they might. All right, what else have we got for this? The priestess. What have we got? Oh, the moon. The moon. So it's still illusions. It's still wishy-washy. We've got this here, reflection. This is a full moon reading, so not surprising. So we've got this. I always like to see it. It's in condition. There is an illusion or illumination. All right, time to have some self-like de determination inside of there. But this is a dreamscape as well. So the time that you've been going through this on this moon thing, you've really been in a fertile dreamscape as well, going through that. Just look at that moon. Oopa. Look at that moon. Okay, what else have we got in the house for this full moon? For the muse. Using gods and goddess. All right, the mystic news tea. So we've got the Empress, and we were talking about this, and this is the Ace of Materials, and this is abundance. That's abundance in this thing. She is a Virgo sort of energy, but she's abundant, she's sensual, she's full. She's got these fertile ideas. We're fertile, fertile ideas, and this is good. So we're coming with new beginnings, new money coming in. This is a fertile period for you, my muses. All right, let's go. Let's go. What else we got? Okay. So we have a judgment, all right, judging yourself maybe for where the things were. We've got the three of, three of pentacles and the queen of wands. All right, so with these we've got judgment. So judgment is looking like, you know, you had a dream, you had these things, you had these things that you want to fulfill. And this has got to do with community goals. So maybe this is actually giving back into places that you had taken from when you were younger. Maybe this is like looking at the dreams. How do you fulfill that? How do you become the best for your community? How do you become the best in the service to actually, you know, be vital inside of things? Because you want to be vital inside this. You see, sowing seeds and planting and getting creative and getting creative with your money, getting creative with the community. This is involved with groups. This is involved with people. And it's really spirited. So we have this queen, this queen, of, she's fertile again. She is passionate. She's involved. She's a woman of action. And the wheel is changing. She's lucky, listening to her intuition, listening to her intuition. So we're all coming to a nice big balance inside of here. All right, what else have we got on the table? Oh, that's not on the table. All right, so let's put this up here. Oh, it's, this is um, messages. We're going to put this up here with our night of inspiration. Here we were talking to the man on the go who's looking for things to do, things to get into, and things to get busy with and be inspired. But this is also doing it with love. There's a love energy inside of this. It might be a bit immature. It might come across as an immaturity inside of this love. And this love officer or this love that you're seeing but it's sort of about having fun oh wow and there is dedication to whatever this is this is reciprocation this can be a soulmates card where everything is a balance and everything everybody's taking a responsibility on their uh, and and helping each other on the physical plane all right but this is a reciprocation you put it in this dedication and it's going to pay off this time is going to pay off right you put in this um dedication to your willpower and your strength and it's dedicated it's going to pay off all right, so, okay, so I'm going to do a different format with my readings. I've done these long ones and I probably still will do them for YouTube, but 
I'm gonna um, start doing them. So more so when I start doing them, I'm gonna lay all these cards out first and probably just go through what they are as like as cards, you know, or more on that explaining them as a lesson sort of card sort of thing. So if you're into that, then you'll be able to listen to the long play. But I'm also then gonna do a very short read. When I get it out, I'm actually gonna hit a timer. I'm gonna do them as three minute reads. All right, and actually do the translation of the reading really quickly and get it out and going. So I'm going to do it as two different breaks inside of here. More as the beginning as a learning curve for putting the cards out. So if you're interested in that, that'll be in the beginning of the video. And then I'm going to do it really quick, really succinct. I'm going to be doing it fast and furious, right? So the Knight of Swords, because I like them. I want some content that's nice and, and edgy and, and, and on the go. And that's sort of where we're going to go with this, right? The Knight of Swords, exactly what I'm talking about. Edgy, on the go, content that is actually available, actually being driven, actually being communicated, like something's coming charging at you. This is a communicator that's going after things. He is a, 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 a element, like, um, and he's really being driven. It's, it's advertising materials. It's really communications inside of there that are really driven. All right, so three more cards. Let's, oh, we got that independence still coming up. All right, so things are moving forward. All right, so we've got the nine. This is seen as an independent sort of card. Independent person can be a bachelor, bachelorette, single person's card. And we do have a bit of bachelor, bachelorette just here. These are both singles cards sitting here together. We've got some Randy Love action and we've got some like little love energy coming through. But these are two single cards sitting just here. All right, and we've got that same energy still coming across here. So this is about fulfilling you, fulfilling your own device. You know, you're going to fill your own hole inside of there. You can't wait for somebody else to do it, do it yourself, right? That's why we've got all these devices in life to look after ourselves. All right, so two more that we've got inside of the Muse's uh, Brew, the Mystic Muse, Muse Brew. We've got another Nine of Cups. So these emotions are coming. Somebody is going to come forth. This, emo this fulfillment of spirituality is about fulfilling you and everything that you're manifesting here, you're going to drive it forward. That's what these two cards are here together. You're manifesting to drive things forward. And this sort of is for you here. All right, this nine of cups energy. This is our tub thumping night. He gets down, he gets knocked down, he gets back up again. So we're gonna have the knight of the knight of cups inside of here. So you are a love or love offer. There's definitely a love offer there, and it's gonna be more mature. It's got it's maturing, like going through this dedication and overcoming these obstacles and using this willpower. It's maturing this conversation inside of here, and there's been a certain amount of having to manifest everything for yourself inside of here, getting the fruition for everything that you wanted. Still maintaining that independence while this is coming through this this night, this person who's going to come back again with love offers that are on the table that are actually genuine and real because there's happiness sitting here. One more card to go. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? So this muse is through. Ah, so the mystic muse through. What have we got? Oh, and then we graduate. We've got actual happiness. This is the ten of emotion and the ten of emotion. You're making decisions about happiness. The internal, the like, you're usually going to be using your intuition to get this fulfillment. Also on this, on this happiness, on a happy home and happy level. Right. So there we have it, my lovelies. I am going to be mixing this up a little bit. I'm going to be changing up the format so we will get a bit more of an explication of each individual card. But then I'm going to do a fast and furious reading so we can really engage these in a different way. Let's see how they go. I hope that you are having a great full moon wherever you are. Thank you for still being here and I will catch you on the flip side.